Dear follower, if you think that the workplace is the best place to accomplish your tasks with high efficiency. So your idea may change after watching this video. When talking about entrepreneurship, companies throughout the ages have been based on the idea of a specific location or place called the workplace, which is bought or rented and then filled with offices and other basic requirements that the employees need, and in this place the employees gather to complete their assigned work as efficiently as possible. But contrary to expectations, the authors Jason Fried and David Hansen tell us that this idea is ineffective and outdated, which means that the workplace is not the best place to get work done efficiently. And to illustrate this idea, the authors asked a large number of employees the following question. Where do you go when you want to get the most important work done? Their answer usually falls under three main groups. First, a specific room or place such as the basement of the house or an additional room in it, the library, or a quiet cafe. Second, a moving vehicle, such as a train, plane, or car. Third, the timing, which means that the place does not matter at all, but what is important is that the work should be completed either in the early morning or late at night, or during the weekends. And this is exactly the point. You rarely hear someone tell you that the workplace is the best place to get work done. And in this summary, we will present the most important ideas that support this idea. Remote, office not required. By Jason Fried and David Hansen. Let's be honest. None of us like the experience of going to and returning from the workplace. This dilemma is one of the biggest problems that we suffer as employees, and its consequences have a great impact on many different aspects of our lives. For example, medically, specialists tell us that commuting for long hours causes obesity, stress and miserable life. And perhaps, dear follower, you have been held up for long hours in a traffic jam or perhaps you have had a bad experience with a driver who drives in a reckless way. And at some point you started to lose your temper and get angry and you had a bad day. Also, commuting is a great waste of time and money. For example, if we assume that the time required to go to work is 45 minutes, this means that you will need an hour and a half on a daily basis to commute to and from work, which means, seven and a half hours per week, which is equivalent to 400 hours per year. Do you know what you can do in 400 hours? The author of the book tells us that 400 hours was the time programmers needed to produce Basecamp application, which is their most popular and widely used application. Economically, IBM implemented a remote work strategy, through which it was able to reduce their office space by about 78 million square feet and therefore it was able to sell a large part of it by about $1.9 billion and rent the rest with an annual income of $1 billion. Not only that. But, this saving was in the interest of the employee as well, as each employee saved about $10,000 annually because of his remote work. Environmentally, by using this strategy, IBM was able to save about 5 million gallons of fuel, which is equivalent to reducing 450,000 tons of carbon dioxide that harms the environment. Bit to remember, remote work is the best solution to the problem of commuting to and from the workplace and has positive effects medically, economically and environmentally. When talking about companies, we can describe the employee as the basic building block of any company, and he is the most important pillar for building and achieving success. So major companies compete to appoint the best and most creative employees. And here is the question, is the workplace a major reason that makes the creative employee refuse the job? The answer is definitely yes. There are a group of creative people who do not want to leave their cities or countries to travel and live in another city. They prefer their work to be near their families and friends, or this preference may be a result of their desire to live in a certain environment because of a certain hobby or passion, as some people prefer to live near the sea for swimming or surfing, while others prefer to live in the countryside with its fresh atmosphere away from the noise and crowded cities. And when working at the workplace is a condition in the creative employee's contract, it is possible that this contract will be rejected, 
and here the company is the biggest loser. Here, Hasub company must be mentioned as an example of a leading Arab technology company that works completely remotely with nearly 80 employees. Hasub company manages the two largest freelance platforms in the Arab world which are, Kamshat website and Mostakal platform. Also, Baid website helps companies to recruit the best employees with the best technical skills remotely and helps those looking for remote work opportunities without being restricted to a specific location. Bit to remember, remote work provides an important opportunity to attract creative employees. Someone may ask, if remote work has all these positive aspects, why did not major companies apply it until recently? And here we can answer this question through three main points, which are. First, in the past, the biggest obstacle to the idea of remote work was technological development. The technology was not advanced enough to handle the fast and changing pace of business, and you certainly wouldn't be able to work remotely using fax or delivering documents via FedEx. But as soon as the internet appeared and technology developed, this idea became easy, as you can now share and show your coworker the screen of your own computer easily via WebEx or Zoom and you can track the list of tasks that the work team is working on moment by moment, and you can know the accomplished tasks by Basecamp, and file sharing has been very easy by using Dropbox. Second, the failure of large companies to implement the idea of working remotely is a special opportunity for smaller companies in order to compete with large companies. As we mentioned before, remote work saves a lot of expenses for companies especially with regard to the cost of renting or buying the workplace, staff housing and transportation costs, and therefore increases the chance of success and the ability to compete. Third, there are many companies that have applied this idea. Remote work can be applied in various fields such as insurance, accounting, finance, technology, consulting, government agencies, design, customer service, employment, programming, film production and many more. Let's give some examples. In the field of health insurance, Aetna employs about 35,000 remote employees. In accounting, Deloitte company, 20% of the time of 86% of employees is remote. In technology, about 82% of Intel employees routinely work remotely. Bit to remember, Many large companies are using the idea of working remotely to achieve growth and success. In addition to everything that was presented about the advantages of working remotely, there is a very important point that must be mentioned, which is that some work requires a high degree of concentration and long and continuous hours of work without interruption, as these employees need to reach a state of flow and harmony that enables them to get their ideas and their creativity at its best but this cannot be achieved in the workplace. Can you remember when you were able to work on a project for three continuous hours without being interrupted by the manager or one of your colleagues or being invited to a meeting? On the other hand, remote work provides the environment that these creative people need, because all these distractions do not exist. It is also worth noting that remote work has become the ideal solution in cases of crises and emergencies which has enabled economies to stabilize and grow despite all the challenges facing the world. For example, during the coronavirus pandemic, business owners were able to continue their activities by working remotely, and students were able to complete their study through remote study, and this tool saved humanity from the consequences of this pandemic. Also, when the employee works remotely, the criteria for evaluating his performance are clear and evident and they are based mainly on the results and outputs, and not on unimportant matters such as attendance and departure or the number of breaks the employee took, and therefore he is evaluated objectively and fairly. Bit to remember, the employee can reach the state of flow and harmony by working remotely, and remote work is the ideal solution for crises and emergencies.